clutch nine, VPI stripe, pos double het hypo and albino to a het T positive female, 15 eggs, pipped on the 19th. These guys are ready to go. Hey guys, uh, thank you for joining us again. Today we have 2021 Clutch 9. It is a VPI Stripe Poshet Albino Poshet Hypo bred to a VPI Het T positive. Um, these guys pipped a couple days ago and are ready to come out. So, um, as with the other clutches, this was all natural pipping. We didn't mess with anything. So, um, yeah. And just initial observation, it's everybody but one of them is out. Um, I don't see any albinos yet. I do see a whole lot of striping now. Oh, two haven't come out. Cool. Gives me something to do. So you can see some great coloration and some great striping in there. Um, both parents are really pretty uh, amazing in the color department. So I would expect nothing less from these. Look at that stripe or something. Nice and dark too, it should have some good color. More striping, just a little different than the last one. Different coloration, not as, uh, not as deep Although, still some pretty good coloration. Ooh. Baby, mud pythons are kind of funny because they'll flatten themselves out. And then with all this goop and everything and them flattening out, it's very difficult to pick them up. And this looks like the most normal out of all of them. Still good looking, should have good coloration. It doesn't appear to really have any of the striping or embarrances. Wow, everybody's freaking out. And this one's pretty great. Very light coloration. Um, so far, none of these guys have big bellies and everybody's stomachs are closed up, which is awesome. Really happy with the uh, incubating at lower temperatures. It seems to be paying off. Everything is hatching pretty well perfect. And then some of the stuff that hasn't that we've had to open has had issues so regardless of what the temperature was it won't have made a difference for them a couple eggs to open up Looks good. Even the stuff that still hadn't come out of the eggs all closed up. Nice size, perfect size bellies. Mm, lots of goop. 
you. So far, no albinos. Um, don't expect to see any of the hypo showing itself. Um, because the female didn't have any of that trait from as far as we know. So this guy's a little twisted up, hopefully he's okay. to be just fine. All right, box two, clutch nine. Again, this was a VPI stripe, POS double het hypo albino, bred to a VPI head albino. Um, everything looks stunning, but again, I don't see any albinos. Uh, great consistent coloration in all these guys. And of course the, the striping does vary. Um, but they are all stripe lineage, VPI stripe lineage. So even the ones that don't have striping should inherit some of the fantastic coloration. Um, but based on what I'm seeing in this box so far, I think only three of them actually don't have, is it three, four, one, two, three, four of them don't have striping. And then everything in this box so far that's out has striping. Look at that neck, the color on that. Guys, these are going to be insane. That's pretty, pretty good looking little baby right there. Look at that striping. <laughs> How many did I pull out of there? Three? All right, everybody's pips. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish these off here. Uh, if I hadn't mentioned it in a previous video, um, we do not leave everything in to come out on its own. Uh, just because most of the time these guys will sit in there and the, the eggs really start to degrade pretty quickly. Um, once they're opened up and they get exposure to air, um, the bio starts to break down and we just don't feel it's healthy for the animals. So we do take them out. Another nice, big, healthy stripe. So after, usually we give them about two days, but we like to see uh, some of the animals coming out on their own. And then once we've got a couple animals out, then we feel pretty good about pulling everybody else out. Another big stripe. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I probably caught that snake 10 times on its way down. They're so slippery. There's like nothing you can do. So 
Seems we've got more stripe than not stripe here in this clutch. And not a single albino. So, um, there's an argument to be made that it was just bad odds. Um, it's entirely possible that the, the parents could have still been head albino and we just didn't hit. But since the male was a pos double hat, we think it's more likely that he just was not het for albino. Um, who knows if he's het for hypo or not. We don't have any other hypo, hypo stuff, so we'll never be able to tell. Another, finish it off with another great stripe. There's a whole box of spicy noodles. Well, guys, that's it for Clutch 9. Uh, more baby Bronger Smy. Uh, definitely one of our most favorite things to do is to hatch baby snakes. It can be extremely, extremely re rewarding. Uh, it can also be quite humbling, and oftentimes it can be fairly difficult, too. Um, we've been able to enjoy a fair amount of success uh, over the last decade breeding blood pythons, um, but it hasn't always come easy, and we haven't always had great odds, but we're happy to see that um, after putting in a, a fair amount of time, it looks like we're figuring it out. So... Uh, if you had any comments uh, or any suggestions of uh, things that we can do better or something you'd like to see different, feel free to leave that um, in the comment section below. Uh, we appreciate the likes. Um, that lets us know that you guys not only watched it, but you liked it and appreciated the work that we're putting into this. And if you're watching it and haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and we will keep making content. So we have uh, one more clutch for the season. Um, it's due in a couple weeks, so we will have a, a slight lull. And I think we are going to fill that void with some, uh, some uh, morph features. So um, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next one.